Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been pretty busy. I, I've shot a lot of fishing videos. Uh, just have not had a lot of time to put them up. So I'm hoping to have uh, at least a couple up here. It would be nice if I was doing a little bit better fishing. But um, I'm actually working on the boat today, and I just bought a big 10-inch 1198 Humminbird, um, a new side image unit. So I'm gonna have two units up front. Um, and I figured I should go over, I'm actually mounting it in my dash and it's a little bit, it's a little bit different just because I've got an older boat. I got a 2001 instead of like some of the newer ones that can accommodate the dash. I had to do a little bit of modification. Um, the first thing is you can see right here is a tiny hole. A 10 inch unit cannot fit into that. And I had to take my water temp or water pressure which was up here and move that and switch it with my battery because this is basically going to be blocked unfortunately my trim gauge is going to be blocked but uh, a later day I'm going to go ahead and move that down here um, so I had to uh, do a couple things I had to find some power um, which actually wasn't too bad some switched power because um, I didn't want to run it off of my other unit just so that I'm not overloading and uh, the units aren't fighting over over some power but um you know, I, I did that. I'm actually using the same transducer. That's kind of why I bought it. And I, I'm going to put a down image unit up here and put my the other side image unit that I had here up front. Um, so I got a little bit of stuff I need to do. But just wanted to go over uh, how I'm actually mounting it. I'm mounting it um, with a ram mount in there. And then it's also going to have some bracing on this front piece here. And uh, I'll go over that um, a little bit more once it's closer to being done. I've got everything run, I've got everything set, I've got everything wired. All I need to really do now is just bolt everything down on my on my mount, um, make sure my cords are hooked up and uh, and we should be good to go. So I'll update here in a second and uh, yep we'll go from there. Alright I wanted to go over my mount real quick. Here's my uh, my 10 inch bracket right here and I had this plate Oh, this back plate is going to be kind of hard to do with one hand, but I had this back plate right here. Um, it was filling in the space where the old graph used to be. So what I did is I basically used that um, kind of as a, a bracing, um, and then I also put some more, I, I needed some more spacers back here, so I had some scrap aluminum, um, and basically just bolted it onto a ram mount. Now, I had to make the ram mount a little bit smaller, I had to do some grinding, um, and do, do a little bit of fabrication. And then also cut a hole right here for my wires so my wires could be in there. But basically this is going to sit in uh, in the console and I'm going to just grip it with, uh, with the ram mount and really get it on there tight. I'm going to put a, a little bit of, um, not adhesive, but a little bit of uh, like athletic tape uh, just to give it some more grip. Cause it's just gonna be it's just gonna be on there I don't really plan on taking this off much unless I need to get in the back of the console but um, that's my mount and that's that's the bracket that I'm gonna be using to mount it into the console and I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, get it pretty much set in and we'll see what we can do from there all right guys so as you can see I got my unit on here um, it's working good I got my wires uh, you can't really see it's coming out um, up top of this plate and I was able to fit everything in there um, had to do a little bit of fabrication to make the hole wide enough to where it would fit but it does fit good um, I mean really it's uh, it's pretty straightforward pull my mount off here and as you can see it it looks pretty good um, I can I gotta kinda lean over to see my tack, but I got my fuel and my water pressure down here, which are I think the two most important things. My speedo doesn't work, so I really don't care about that. But um I mean overall it took me, you know, a couple hours to get this unit in and now what I need to do is <clears throat> run my uh my other transducer for my down image unit back through the gunwell here and um I'm gonna debate on adding another GPS puck for that unit alone or if I should just use one puck for both of them which is seeming easier but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this um, let me know if you have any questions 
and I think maybe in another video I'll, I'll show my full setup but uh, right now I just have this one unit and I'll, I'll put this one back on um, here in another video and when we're out on the water we'll, we'll check out and see how cool it looks and uh, I, I really just wanted a bigger screen you know for side imaging and um, I mean I got this at a ridiculously good deal even though it's last year's model I really don't care um, but I was I was going back and forth between the Onyx or uh, the 1199 and, and I ended up picking this one up for thousand dollars less than what it is brand new um, and I, it's a brand new unit so I uh, got a pretty good deal on that but um, hopefully you guys like it uh, like comment share and uh, we'll see you next time